Creator Studio, where we love creativity and collectibles. That's right, and in today's video, we got two new awesome collectibles to unbox. We got some Dune figures from Dark Horse. As you can see here, I got Chani. And then over here, I have Paul Atreides. Right, if you haven't seen the movie Dune, it's awesome. Definitely check it out. Let's talk about the box art. So as you guys can see right here, you have the window right here where it shows the, like, the photo of the character right here, which is Paul Atreides. Looking at the other side, you have another window. And on the very back here, you have a glam shot of Paul Atreides where you see the full body. And then you see a photo of his head, really nice. And on this side, you have the Dune logo with a nice sand and kind of desert background. Nice looking box art with these. The figures measure about nine inches tall and they retail for about $59.99. If you wanna get your hands on these, as always, check for links in our description. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing because we got a lot more cool figures coming. Let's go ahead and jump into this unboxing. So pull them out of the box. They're not too heavy, they got a nice weight to them. You can tell just feeling them, they are plastic, but they are loaded with all kinds of details in the sculpt and the paint job looks pretty good as well. Yeah, I really like the statue. It seems to have a lot of nice detail. I especially like how he's holding the knife up. Let's do this one first. Let's do it. Okay. Starting at the base, you have really nice details in the sand. I especially love how they added like the fine little dots of white and some fine little dots of black to really give it that nice detail in it. It really give it that effect of like rocks being like weathered down and like disintegrating into the sand, I guess you could say. Yeah, the sculpt on the base is cool because it does have that same look you see in the movie where the sand has all these ripples in it because it's so windy and it kind of carves this texture into the sand. And then the paint job on the base is also really nice. You got that base color of tan and all these different kinds of speckled white and like charcoal color. And then moving up to the actual figure, it's packed with detail. I really like the details in the still suit where you can see all the like tunnels where the water goes through and where it comes up so through like the place where you can drink it again. And then all the really nice details, especially with the weathering and like the dry brushing to make it look like it's dirty or like looks like it's been used. Um, the suits are pretty cool. The concept is great living out there in the desert. And the sculpt on this suit is really, really well done. Here you got all these different panels, all this different line work. And then even as you move up the neck and then around to the back, you can see the hoodie there. And then the back of the figure has a lot of really nice sculpting going on. It's all very similar in color, but you have some very subtle changes in the tones from the suit to the actual fabric coming along down the arms. And the dry brushing in certain areas that really make it look nice and then some light brushing too to give it that weather effect. Yeah, very cool. And then there's the portrait. Really nice details in the sculpt. You can see all the texture in the hair because he kind of has that shaggy hair, especially as the movie progresses. And then you got a decent level of sculpting going on in that face around the nose, the mouth, the chin and the eyes. I really like it also we're really able to capture his hair, how it's curly in some areas and straighter in others. And then especially like the dead look on his face where you see like 95% of the movie. Yeah, at first I was a little disappointed with the, the expression on his face, but the truth is in the movie and even on the box art, uh, he's got that pretty cold look on his face. Right, well then he's just like... Not, yeah, he's not very expressive, so uh, they did capture that in the sculpt. And then pulled from the scene in the movie, you have Paul Atreides with his Chris knife. It's really cool how he's holding it up, kind of like Victoria's that he's got it. The knife looks cool. You can see how he's holding it with his right hand. The sculpt in the fingers and the whole hand looks really good, the way he's gripping that knife. A uh, really, really impressive sculpt on these. I really like it. Very cool piece. And next, we're moving on to the Chani figure. As we can see here, she's wearing a very similar suit. It almost looks exactly the same in the torso. The arms look about the same, but the pants look a little different. And then the color on her is also kind of different. Yeah, her color is a bit of like a purplish, kind of gray at the bottom here and like all the other parts which are on Paul are like a brown and there's to itself it's, not, it's like a grayish blue and on Paul it's actually like a pure gray. I really like the portrait on hers. You got similar texturing in the hair which looks really well done and then the sculpt in the face is nice and I really like the paint on her face. I like how for her they really captured her like really blue eyes and especially her serious look on her face as well as the thing that goes into her nose and comes around her ear, which you can actually see right here if you look at her neck and goes inside of her suit where it recycles the water. Right, and then moving towards the back of her, you got the hoodie with really nice details in the sculpt. Not only do you have the nice folds in the hoodie, but you also have some really nice texturing in the fabric. And then as you come down, 
Also like the Paul figure, she's got a ton of details in the sculpt on the suit with all the straps along the back, all the textured in the fabric. It looks really nice. I do like her pose, even though it's not super dynamic like we've seen in other figures, it does distribute her weight really well. You got some subtle bends in her elbows. I really like the details in the sculpt on her chest just like with the paw figure. And I like that they used a slightly different color on her as well. Right here on her side, she's holding some kind of dagger, which is like attached to some kind of ribbons or like ties around her leg, which looks like she's about to pull out or is just holding. And then moving down the figure, you got all this nice sculpted details in the bottom portion of the legs. And then those shoes also have a ton of details, nice texturing, and you can even see all the details in the tread on the bottom, very cool. So looking at her base, you guys can see that it's a different sand than the one Paul Atreides is standing on. Yeah, you can tell it's a different base, which I like that they didn't just recycle the same base. And there you have our view of the Paul Atreides figure and the Chani figure from Dune. I especially like all the details in like the still suits and as well as the attention to detail where you have the weathering and the sand, and especially in the hair. Nice looking figures from Dark Horse if you want to add these to your collection. As we said, they retail for $59.99 each, and we'll go ahead and add links to these in our video description. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll, and we'll see, see you next time. time. Go, go, go!